Hello everyone, Institution Awesome here with a fantastic tutorial on the wonderful Squatch Dog plugin. This will be the first in a series of episodes that will explain in detail the many functions and capabilities of Squatch Dog. To start off, let's talk about the basics of the plugin. This plugin will record all the broken and placed blocks with their subtypes, person who broke or placed them, and date when the modification took place. Options for chest access logging as well as an animal slaughter logging are also available. Additionally, there is functionality to roll back said actions, replace broken blocks, remove placed blocks, and a variety of other adjustments. It is aimed to be lightweight since Big Brother, while good, uses many resources and creates a considerable amount of latency on any server it is installed. Unlike similar plugins, Swatchdog does not require the user to set up an SQL database and is constantly updated on a regular basis. To begin, you must first install the plugin. The installation process is very easy. Simply place the downloaded jar file in the plugins folder of your server. Restart your server and the plugin should be installed. Once installed, you may want to edit the config file to suit your needs. There are a variety of configurable options which can be edited and adjusted as you see fit. You can edit the config file by simply editing the text file in the Swatchdog directory, or you can use simple in-game commands. We will continue the configuration process in-game and go over all the aspects of each option. All of this can, of course, be done by directly editing the config file. To begin configuring Swatchdog in-game, type forward slash wutil, or util. This command lists a variety of administrator tools for administrative purposes. We'll go over each in a bit. For now, type wutil show config so we can configure the plugin. Note that all options must, unless otherwise stated, be set to true or false. Setting an option to true will enable it or turn it on. Setting an option to false will disable it or turn it off. Watch physics will log every physical action ever done on your server. This includes blocks falling or breaking, water flowing, and pretty much everything else. Using this will most likely lag your server to last year, so it is recommended you keep this option false. Watch Grow will monitor tree growth. Watch Water Lava will record natural movement of lava and or water. In order to watch with water or lava placement, you must set the Watch Pocket option to true. Debug does absolutely nothing, so setting this true will not affect your server in any way. Integrity on start checks if your files are in order when the server starts and tells you if you need to repair them. If the auto repair option is set to true, this will be done automatically. Unless your server has some serious issues, this should not be needed. Splits time is used for splitting threads for dividing log files into approximately 100,000 entries each if splits mode is time. The time is in milliseconds. Splits mode has two options, time or player. This will determine how the split check should be ran. Time works better for medium to large servers where players are frequently logging in and out as the split check is run against time rather than when players join or leave. Player works for smaller servers where people are not logging in and out as much. Watch chest access will log who chests were accessed by and when the chests were accessed. Use tools determines if swatch dog checks for tool use. If set to true, the, the default item, a stick, can be used to SWSL or SWS look. Simply right click a block with the stick to view the placed history and left click to view the broken history. Splits is the amount of entries in thousands that should go in every archive file. 100 is a good value. Smaller values will speed up operation. However, values below 50 will not improve efficiency much and have a negative effect on SWS commands. Auto clean days by default is negative one. This option allows you to set a number of days before Swatch Dog begins to prune logs that are X many days old. Watch bucket, if set to true, will watch people placing or picking up water or lava. Watch decay is the opposite of tree growth. It watches decaying leaves, which is a block break action. This will record blocks broken by decay. Watch explosion will watch TNT placement and explosions. It also records the actions as broken by the player. The worlds 1, 0, and 2 are data stored in the config file. These should not be adjusted or tampered with. Watch animals will watch for animals that are slaughtered by players. You can use the SWS ANI RAD command for checking this if set to true. Watch user will watch the breaking and placement of logs by users. Verbose start. When set to false, we'll give less info about watchdogs starting up in the console. 
This is useful for trimming server logs from stuff you have no interest in. Watch Lava will monitor the placement of lava. Do not set this to true if you have Watch Water Lava set to true. Auto Repair will automatically repair files that are out of order on startup. Watch Form Spread is not too important, so do not worry about it. Watch NPC, depending on bucket updates, should watch Sheep, Enderman, and other mobs. Watch Burn will record blocks destroyed by fire. World's Total is data that is stored in the config file. Like the World's 0, 1, and 2 options, this option should not be messed with. Maximum Radius limits the radius of people who do not have the permission to bypass radius and commands like WUndo, Redo, and Clean Max Radius. This prevents users from accidentally or intentionally damaging the server, at least not too much. To set your config options in game, simply type wutil set config key value. After you've made all the changes you want, type wutil save config. After your changes have been saved, either reload or restart your server. The next command in the wutil page is the show index command. This allows you to view the IDs and dates associated with each archived log file. For example, type in wutil show index broken, which show all the archived files of broken blocks in your current world. So if you ever wonder why you can't find who broke Age's old castle, checking wutil show index can be used to ensure that you actually have those logs. If you want to delete archived files, you can use the wutil delete command. For instance, typing wutil delete broken one will delete the broken log file with ID 1. After you have deleted your files, you should type wutil reindex to ensure the logs stay in order. Util repair integrity is set to go through all critical swatch dog files to ensure there aren't any lines that could cause a null error. Less critical files are skipped to save resources. In addition to wutil, you also have the wstats command, which checks how well swatch dog is operating on the server. When testing how many entries it can read, you should get several million per second. Wstats also gives some fancy details, such as how many seconds it would take to read through the server entire broken archive for the current world, how many seconds the indexing system for Swatchdog saves you, how long it takes to write a thousand entries, and if Watchdog is causing any lag whatsoever on your server. You probably wouldn't notice any lag unless writing one entry takes more than 0.01 seconds. Wstats 2 shows you how many of each log entry you have in each world. The wutil and wstats commands are great tools for server owners and admins alike. They allow for close monitoring and editing of the plugin, along with extensive stat tracking and many other useful features. Now that you have installed and configured Swatchdog, you can rest assured that griefers will be easy to track and your server will be a much better environment for your players.